I mean, just sort of a moment of disbelief. And the, and the reason is, you know, I, I'm not ranked high enough anymore. I'm not playing uh, on the tour. You know, I have a full-time job. So I, but I have a protected ranking. So I tried to sign in as an alternate. And on Friday night, I signed in and I didn't get in. So I thought, you know, I was done. I, I didn't make it in the tournament. And I left three tennis rackets to get strung. And I woke up on Saturday morning and I said, you know, I better drive down to Del Rey to pick up my tennis rackets. And when I showed up, the supervisor said, you know, there's a chance that you might get in. So, um, you know, 30 minutes before the first match, he says, I think one guy is going to pull out, but it's not sure yet. And then, you know, a couple of minutes later, he said, oh, I think I think you're in the tournament. And uh, actually, when I was going out to play Kozlov, they announced my name as, you know, the guy who was originally supposed to play. So they said, you know, Kozlov and Watanuki. And but it was, uh, you know, it was actually me. So I ended up um, playing. I played a tough match. And then, yeah, to be tennis today is, is a real special treat. But, you know, totally unexpected. And I'm just enjoying it as, and going as far as I can. So and if not, I'll go back to work on Monday. So <laughs> well, tell us a little bit about your full time job. Oh, I work for a firm called Wexford Capital or Wexford Real Estate. Uh, you know, we have a series of hedge funds and a private equity firm and a real estate development firm. And we do a lot of, you know, ground, ground up multifamily development um, across the country with a, with a focus on Florida. So that's my full time job. You know, I, I go, you know, nine to six usually during the week. And if I if I can squeeze in some tennis, you know, before work every day, I try to do that. Um, and that's, you know, that's what's kept me sort of close, close to the game and, you know, fit enough to where I can come out here and, and still uh, put in a good showing. So. That actually was going to be one of my questions is how you fit in training. Oh, training? I mean, I, abs like, I'm, I absolutely love this game and I know it's not forever and I'm 33 and, you know, I try to maximize each day. I try to train every morning if I can, you know, five, six times a week. I mean, sometimes I train with my boss who's 70 years old. But, you know, this week I trained with a guy who was probably in his, you know, late 50s. But, uh, you know, you find creative ways to, to work around it. I, I hit the gym every day. I go for a run every evening after work. And that seems to be, you know, that seems to have proven enough, at least for these two matches. So let's see how the third one goes. So we know you were very successful um, at Princeton. Um, tell us about your journey since then. Journey since Princeton. Um, you know, I, I, I'd never played a professional tournament before college or during college, like some of these guys are doing now. So my, my first event was when I was 24. That was my first ever Futures. You know, and pretty quickly I got up to 206 in a little less than two years. And then unfortunately I had a, a pretty serious, actually it's not a serious injury, I had a small surgery on my stomach before the Australian Open, ended up getting a serious um, staph infection and I was, I was basically, you know, bedridden for eight months. And that changed the trajectory of my tennis timeline and my, my tennis career. And, um, you know, in, in that time off, I, I had a lot of time to think about what the next, you know, stage was going to look like. And I, and I ended up sitting for the GMATs, you know, and applying to business school w w without any real expectation. And, you know, crazily enough, I got accepted to Harvard Business School. And they said, you know, we'd love to have you, but you got to come now. There's no waiting. You can't defer. So I was in this weird spot where I, I wasn't sure if I was going to go back on tour or go to business school. I ended up going there. When I was at business school, um, I connected with Andrew Roop, who's now the head coach at Harvard. And he says, you know, we hear you're back uh, on campus. We'd love to have you out with the guys. So I, you know, I'd, I'd not been playing tennis for a while. And he said, you know, you're welcome to come out anytime. And soon enough, I was with the guys, you know, six days a week, and I started playing tennis again, and I rediscovered my love for the game. And after I graduated business school, I said, you know what, I, I have a good degree, and I have, you know, the, the economy was in a good spot. So I said, you know what, 12 months, all in, full court press. If I get to 250 in a year, uh, I'll keep going, and if I don't, you know, that, that will be it. And I got to like 320 in six months, and I was playing the best tennis of my life, and then COVID hit. And then the tour got canceled, and then I was, you know, 32 years old and sort of stuck in Europe. And um, so that was a tough moment. But, uh, you know, I, I, I play when I can. I play outside of my work hours, and that's sort of been it. Sorry, that's a long answer, but, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a complicated question. So. It's been a long journey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so what 
last question. Yes. Um, so you played in the United Cup. I played United Cup. For? Croatia. And tell us about your experience there. Oh, uh, oh it was camera, sorry. United Cup, uh, incredible team event. Men's and women's, you know, first time I had that kind of experience. Um, good atmosphere. It was good to be on a team. I haven't been on a team in a while, so this was like it had these memories from being on a college team and playing for you know something other than than yourself. So that was pretty fun. Uh, we got to beat Argentina, we beat France, and we lost a really close match to Greece, um, and it came down to the mixed doubles decider. I, I love the format. I, I hope it keeps going, and I think there's going to be a lot of uh, good matches in the coming years. It's a great way to start the year too.